Can you talk a little bit about the energy or the, 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 the people who are in the cipher, right? And how they connect with the person in the middle and the importance of, of that in, in the Crump community. Uh, the session is yeah, the session. part of Crump. Mm. Yun, um, even before battles, even before tournaments, everybody was required <laughs> to go to a session. You can only dance. Wala pa namang mga tournament even before. Eh. So you can only dance crump when you're in a session. Either mm. dalawa kayo or tatlo kayo. And then you, ngayon, nire-require, <laughs> nire-require ng mag-hype. Pero um, organically, hype happens in crump organically talaga. Kasi doon na siya nang galing. Kailangan mong magbigay ng energy. Kailangan mong mag-receive ng energy pag sumasayo ka and then give energy back. And then also, when you're just watching, you give and give and give and receive the energy na, nang, na, na binibigay ng dancer. So, the hype and the session mm. is the most important thing in Crump para mm-hmm. sa akin. Kasi nandun yung totoong reason kung bakit siya Crump is to uplift, uplift yung taong sumasay or to uplift the community, each other. And then when you do that on the session, na-apply nyo siya in a dance way. Mm. Essence. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice. Um, that, I, I like that. I like, um, I like the, the, you know, idea that you guys are feeding off of each other and, and, you know, you even mentioned that sometimes it's required, right? Um, <laughs> just to <laughs> yeah, kind of start no. off, but then other times, sometimes, sometimes the best way to do it is like organically when, you know, you're just like in the moment. Um, when, when uh, this is what I kind of want to ask as well, which is, uh, what are um, you know for somebody who's watching a, a crump cipher, they can see that it's probably very physical, right? Mm-hmm. you know, sometimes I don't understand like how you guys are able to get physical and still kind of remain in the zone. I mean, I don't know if there are moments like, for example, parang you're in the zone, pop, that was you're pushing somebody, right? That was maybe after you're like. Bro, parang medyo, medyo malakas yung tulak mo na off-balance ako. <laughs> yung ganun. <laughs> so, so, or like, baka may nagalit. Like, parang he was in his session, tapos tulak. You're like, bro, you messed up my set. Kasi, or like, <laughs> so, so what are like, uh, what are the no-nos? Of, are there any no-nos when it comes to the cipher? Or, uh, or like, can you maybe discuss the physicality aspect of it? Um, sa session, parang wala naman talagang no-no. Okay. I think yung mga general, ano lang, general, um, how do you call this, demeanor ng kahit sino na nasa cipher sa kahit anong style. Kunwari, hmm. um, wag, kang, wag kang pumasok pag hindi pa tapos yung sumasayaw. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ano'y <yung> pumatapos? <laughs> Parang general respect lang. Yeah, and yeah. Then, and with, with hyping and pushing, ay, with touching while hyping, okay lang yun. Basta hindi mo siya ma-injure. Huwag naman masyadong malakas. <laughs> but then sometimes, it really does happen. Grabe sa sobrang, minsan kasi yung energy hindi mo na makokontrol. <laughs> Maraming funny stories sa crowd na kung natulak, tapos na, na-shoot siya sa, <laughs> na-shoot siya sa basurahan. <laughs> <laughs> o oh, kaya yeah. dun sa may damuhan, mga gano'n. Pero ano lang, sige. Pick it up. Pick up, okay. pick up the energy. Sige. Yeah, yeah. Ano, ano mangyari? Go lang. Pass mm. na agad yung isa. Mm. So yung goal kasi sa crump is sa session, sa crump session, is to always keep the energy high. Mm. Kung don't let it fall, mm. tapos mamamatay yung hype. Okay. So, kailangan mataas palagi energy. So sometimes nangyayari talaga yung mga gano'n. With the physicality naman, I think the physicality happens more on street battles. Kasi meron, meron time to build up on that beef or the aura or character na gusto mong ibigay na mm. medyo battle-y, battle-y, mm. aggressiveness. May time ka to do that and to really tell a story. Kaya nangyayari siya sa street battles. At saka mm. doon nangyayari din yung call out sa street battles, usually. Okay. Na... So, usually yung call-outs, may dahilan yun. Magka-call-out ka dahil may dahilan. It would either be um, gusto mo i-challenge yung sarili mo or pina-call-out siya sa'yo ng big boomy mo para kasi may something kang kailangan gawin. Kaya 
call out, okay, lil homie, call out mo siya, okay po big. O kaya, you have a personal beef. O kaya, meron kang, yes, personal beef. So, yung mga emotion na yon that happens before a call out, dun siya na ilalabas sa street battle. Kaya mas nagiging, you know, um, physical. Mm. As, ayun. And then, um, yes, Kuya, go. So, in, in these battles, then, this is actually exactly what I was going to ask earlier. Kasi in a cipher, and it's your fam, and you're, you're getting physical, okay lang naman, kasi at the end of the day, you guys are good, right? But in a, in a, in a, in a battle like that, when you've got a call out, and there's, it's also okay to get physical like that, even with somebody you've got beef with, or kumbaga, you really set that battle because you had, ano, um, does that happen regularly, or is it something that people avoid? Um, generally, it's accepted in court. Okay. But it depends on the person. Kung, okay. Pero when you come into crump, you have to accept the fact that it's sometimes it's going to be physical. And sometimes, your, yung kabatan mo, talaga magiging physical siya towards sayo. And you have to accept that fact that not everyone is going gonna, is gonna to adjust to your preference. So if you prefer not to get physical in a battle, then don't don't accept a call out na alam mong magiging physicalan or don't yeah. call out somebody na alam mong physical siyang magkram. Um, sa ano naman, sa limits ng pagiging physical, eh, wala namang sapakan. I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pero sometimes, magkaka-accident na okay. uh, masasapakan niya. But, ma- mahahalata mo naman na accident lang talaga. Yeah. Wala namang so far nangyaring actual sapakan. Yeah. I, like, and I wouldn't, from, yeah, I think naman na, uh, especially if you're going, if these are people who are passionate about their discipline, I don't think naman that they would disrespect the art form by, mm-hmm. by you know, parang resorting to that kind of ano, parang kumbaga, that's the whole reason that they're battling is because they don't want to fight each other. They, they want to exactly. settle it through that conversation, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, and so I think that's, that's what's great about it is there's just, there's even though you might have um, differences in sort of, uh, you know, for whatever reason, kumbaga, they may be for may call out, there's still that mutual respect in the sense that you're using Crump to, to converse. You're using Crump to discuss. Yeah. You're using Crump to exchange. Uh-huh. Um, and, and just leaving it there, you know, cause I've seen like a couple call outs before where, where like genuine beef, like, just like, like I want to murder you kind of feels and vibes, right? Like on the dance floor. And then like after that, like, glad we had that buddy. Like, but <laughs> you know, but I'm, but I'm best friends now, you know what I mean? Like, but, but because the, the beef was settled, the respect was there. Um, I think that's very unique. I, I think it's very, um, uh, it's a nice thing that you can see in Crump that, that it's so much more than just like a dance battle where you're looking at moves, right? Mm-hmm. But you're looking at intent. You're looking at um, just the, or, the organic, um, you know, uh, uh, reaction to, to, to the current situation uh... that you're in. I think, I think that's what makes it really impressive to me when I watch it. Um, come to think of it, there was one time, can, can we just like jump, because in my mind, can we just jump to it. sort of... Uh, we're talking about physicality anyway, but uh, like, like the endurance that's taken that that's needed for crump, right? How long is a, uh, mm. how long is like too long? You think when you are when you're going solo, and then you know maybe you're going to be gassed out, and it's time to go ahead. Because if, for example, just to kind of give you a story, there was there was one time I was judging a battle. Uh, oh no, I wasn't judging it. I was hosting a battle, okay. uh, and we we were featuring crumpers. And I think at the time the 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 time limit or the time that they said each sort of battler had for their round was like a minute and a half to two minutes. They could use that time to however much they wanted to use. Um, mm. And then I remember like the crumper was going in, the, the crump said that, and I was like, oh, this is dope, right? So finally they were going in, like going hard, 30, 40 seconds. About like a minute in, like he looked at me and he was like, are you going to call time? <laughs> I was like, I didn't know what to do. I was hosting for the first time. So I was like, uh, uh, am I supposed to stop him or get in the home And then I remember after that, as soon as the, the round finished, he was gassed, like super important to shot. And I said, all right, yo, yo, just to kind of clarify it, like you got two minutes, but you don't have to take up the whole two minutes. You know what I mean? Um, uh, and, and as somebody who also, uh, you know, I don't claim to be like a crumper, but it is something I, I definitely tried out when I was first starting in dance the energy is intense like that's required from it like it's a different you know when you when you have um 
like breaking is one, one kind of energy. A lot of that is like outward physical ability, right. Um, and conditioning and things like that with crump, that energy. And even though your, 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 your range of motion is just here, it's so like, because you're so intense about it. Um, it's, it can get tiring. So what I want to ask is like, what, what's usually like a, you know, like for you, ikaw ba mismo parang, ay, medyo mahaba na to. I don't think I could carry <laughs> my own for this long. Talk about that. <laughs> it really depends, Kuya, where you are and what's your intention. Okay. Um, if you're in a session, you could kill a session in 15 seconds. You can jump in, 15 seconds, you're done. Because mm. um, the goal in a session is to just keep the hype. So when you get in, you just got to give everything. You know, goal mo. So pag binigay mo lahat, pagod ka kaagad. Yeah. Lahat. So alis ka na agad. Yeah. So, so the next person could have the time to bigay niya din yung lahat niya. And then konti lang din yung time niya. Kasi pagod na din siya kaagad sa session. Kasi that's the goal. <clears throat> and then, when you are in a battle naman, um, one minute I think is... Sometimes it really it, it depends on the person. If kaya mong mafeel agad yung dance mo in a minute, a minute is matagal na yon. Mm. But when you have two minutes, pag kunari yung sinabi niyo po kanina, if I was the person who's gonna dance, I'm gonna build up really slow. And mm. I think kaya ko umabot na kahit two minutes. I'm gonna build up slow. Um, I will use the music properly and well. I will listen. I will do a lot of stops and process and slow most. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I try to conserve my energy. Um sa crump kasi the I think the most important part in crump is really not being powerful itself mm. but uh, um knowing how to use that power efficiently. Yep. Na hindi naman kailangan palaging labas ka na labas or kailangan talagang malalakas yung throws mo. Yeah. Everything. But of course it's a it's Yun, yun kasi yung general look ng crumb. Mm. Powerful siya. And, yeah. And intense. But yeah. then it's up to you how you use that power. Sometimes you can go out and then slow and then yeah. slow yourself uh-huh. and then put the energy again out and then get it again. Mm-hmm. Para hindi ka talaga na, nagagas out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like that you mentioned that kasi that's actually one of the, the concepts I learned uh, from Phil. You know Phil, Adrian? And, yeah. So oh, yeah. I remember one time I was taking class with him. Um, it was actually in the context of a choreo class. Uh, but but one of the things he was talking about was like how how let's say in crump you want to kind of draw in, you know, like the mm-hmm. the attention you bring it in, and and which is a really cool concept because sometimes you think of crump as like back, right? Um, mm-hmm. But but what makes the pack so impactful is the draw in that happens before it. You mentioned earlier, like the build up. Yung parang, you know, the intent of why you got to this position. Like, if you just went hard this way, I mean, that's one thing. But if you sort of told a story a little bit in that sort of draw in that happens, then this makes this more, that much more relevant, you know? And I started using that same concept as well when I started choreographing, even if, if I just wanted to dance or freestyle in the final, how do I kind of just, you know, vibe myself into going from, from zero miles an hour to 60, you know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. so that, that was an, that's, I'm glad that you mentioned that because I think that's something that's super, super, uh, uh, you know, specific and important to Crump. Um, 